John, thank you so much for visiting with us today. Uh, congratulations on Anonymous. Thank you. Really enjoyed the film a lot. Um, oh, good. Thanks. My first question um, was regarding your inspiration for the film. Mm. Uh, do you believe in Oxfordian theory? Or? Yeah, I'm a writer who can't write something he doesn't love. And um, I find writing to be incredibly difficult, almost awfully so. So I have to really love what I'm going to write. And this is a story that um, I first heard about 20 years ago. And it sort of haunted me for 20 years. And uh, I finally got to write it and finally got to make it. And yes, I do believe much of what happens in the movie. Not everything, but much. Next question was about the theme of the danger of art. And I wondered if you could speak to that a little bit and how it still mm -hmm. pertains to art today. Yeah, one of my favorite sort of things in life is art and politics and the intersection of those two things and how they relate to each other. And, and for me, the film is, is not about who wrote the plays. Um, in fact, we don't even make any attempt to pretend to, to, to have a question to answer. The film starts off with, with the given that Oxford wrote the plays. Nor are we trying to convince anybody that Oxford wrote the plays. What we're doing is, is making a film about art and politics and the power of the pen over the sword. And I think that is an eternally relevant story. And uh, I think today, art is just as important as it was 500 years ago. Were you aware of the Shakespearean themes within your screenplay? Yeah, we, we definitely um, made a, a, a concerted effort to make sort of a Shakespearean movie, in a way. You know, we have The Fool, William Shakespeare. We have all of these Shakespearean um, themes, like incest and uh, uh, an unfulfilled crown, as in Hamlet. Uh, all these themes that, that are in the plays are in our movie. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Ben Johnson's Every Man Out of His Humor is the first yeah. play yeah. depicted in the film. I was wondering if you were trying to convey anything by opening with that as the first play. Yeah, the idea with that was um, Ben Johnson, much more than Shakespeare, was satirical and was really political. And the idea of that particular scene is to show how he's making fun of the nobility and then we cut to actually a nobleman so offended he leaves. And the idea was to show to the audience and to Edward de Vere, the Earl of Oxford, this idea that that these stage plays could actually have political impact. Due to the controversial nature of the film, are you concerned about the reception it'll get? Or? Well, I, I would be concerned about the reception of any film that I was a part of. But I think in this case, a little bit more than, than, than normal, because as I said, I, I believe in, in the Oxfordian theory. And I would really hope that the film sparks debate between people, whether you think Shakespeare wrote the plays or Oxford wrote the plays. I really think it's an interesting question to have a debate about, and, and I hope that people can embrace the film in, 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 in the way that it was made, which is to really celebrate the plays and the power of the written word more than who wrote them. So you're much more concerned with uh, getting across something that, you're, that you love, like you said, or that you're interested in, as opposed to um, putting out something that might have potential damage to your career, would you say? Well, I, I, I don't know why it would have potential damage to my career. I mean, a lot of people do get very, very upset when you um, mess with their Shakespeare. I've had people shout and yell at me and leave dinner tables over conversations about the authorship issue. Um, but on the other hand, um, it was a story that spoke to me, and, and this is what I do. And, and you don't often, in film writing, get a chance to write something that's about something other than blowing shit up. And so the idea to write about art and politics um, sort of uh, overwhelmed any sense of reaction that other people would have to the film. Uh, it is a fascinating story. Um, oh, good. I wondered if you were happy with the outcome of the film. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's really the film that we set out to make, um, for me, 15 years ago, and, and with Roland about 10 years ago. And we, we worked it together and, and changed it. And it's, it's very much the film we tried to make. You know, you always, it's such a dense story um, with a lot of characters. And sometimes I wish it were a three hour movie. But um, we had a longer cut, and the tempo just wasn't right. And so while we explored the characters a little bit more, 
at the end, the whole, the, the movie as a whole didn't work as much. So uh, you have to do what you have to do, and the movie's what it's supposed to be. Great. Thank you very much Great. for meeting Thank us you. today, John. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks a lot. Yeah.